it's important why we have the chance to have more transparency in the global market. So uh, it's always necessary to see where it's coming from. Maybe it's coming out of a illegal logging or it's not coming out of a concession. So it could be helpful to have tools running to check the decoration on the timber. And one tool is, for example, stable isotopes. And our routinely work is to use with stable isotopes as oxygen, hydrogen, sulfur, nitrogen, and carbon to building up maps. And with, with that kind of maps, we have the chance to say, yeah, which timber is coming from Cameroon or from Congo, and so on. It's very, very well established in the food sector. We are controlling every kind of food as potatoes, onion, and so on. It's a very, very effective tool there, and the authorities are using this tool to control the food of market. We have uh, information in the timber directly, so the, in the timber is delivering a link to the origin. So we have the chance to say, yeah, this is coming out of the concession or not. We have not to take care for papers or something else. We see it directly in the timber, and that's make it so interesting. All science has mistakes, so we're working always with probabilities. We are defining that we have, can say with, is, with 95% this is level, an unnormal sample. So it's clear, if you're using uh, science, you have not black and white, you have always probability. And certainly we are using our test reports only if we have a high probability that it is not coming from this country. Practicals, for example, the custom can use our technology to check the decoration that um, MGOs, retailers are using for their own quality system. They want to know is the decoration on the timber right, and they have to pay for it, and certainly they are reliable for it. So the trader has to take care for what he is decorating. So it could be helpful for the complete quality system. On the other hand, it's helpful for the customer and for the authorities, and certainly for the nature.